Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install this M-Wave screw-on 2 alloy rear carrier, and we're going to put it on this Trek Navigator 2.0, and it has some mounting access points here, so we're probably going to use these, and then also mount to perhaps one of these holes here. All right, so now everything is out of the package and here's all the hardware. Now we have these, um, I'm not gonna tell you exactly the size of these screws. They're not even indicated on the instructions. And as you see, the instructions are on the back of the package. And very simple, semi-vague, and they don't necessarily identify each piece exactly. So I'm gonna have to try and figure this out as we go. Okay, so. Anyway, back to the supplies. So we have, you know, the four washers, the four hex bolts, and um, we have two slightly larger hex bolts. Um, they all come with lock washers. And then we have a couple of clips here. We have a mount. I think this is an auxiliary mount in case your bike is not equipped um, with a particular mounting area. And then we have these babies, okay? And last, we have these. These go down, and I imagine they're going to mount somewhere around here. And as you can see, this bar here can be adjusted up and down. So we're going to find out what we're going to need to do in a bit. Okay, so we're going to start with these arms. And basically, these are going to be screwed into these sliding slots. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to take the the inner one, it may have to be adjusted to this one. So I'm going to screw these top pieces here, take them off, and then attach. All right, let's see. Because if you want, you can unscrew it from the bar too. And, okay, I'm going to let you know the size of the Allen key that you will need shortly, but I'm just hand tightening, tightening them now. Alright, so we'll put this baby in. Now these spin around, these spin, so you see the little bend here, so thankfully they spin, spin so you can either face them upward or downward, we're going to see later on. Alright, so I'm going to tighten these babies, I'm going to go in to get a, a multi-tool Allen key, and I'm going to guess it's metric, so let's see what that is. All right, as far as Allen keys, you're going to need a three, four, and five. This is a multi one, so this has the four and a five. Um, sorry, four and five here, and then I have a three here. So what we're going to do is tighten these babies up, firm them up a decent amount. You can do the final tightening once everything's on the bike, and that kind of firm. Firm and 
what I have noticed on the bike, basically we want a wide spacing. If we have these nuts, the adjustment nuts on the outside, it brings these bars in closer. Oops, sorry, is out of frame. Okay, so basically we're going to want these two adjustment nuts here. facing in because I, I need the spread on the bike these the other way are just you know it's just they're too close to each other all right so basically we're going to get these in this position keep in mind the the possibility we, we could meet, need to move these to this uh, position but we're going to find out soon Okay, so we're going to tighten these pretty firm, not super duper tight. It's a 10 millimeter socket. All right, so we're going to get this baby started. I'm going to feel it get tight and then maybe I'll back it down a little bit. We'll see. Yeah, I'm going to back it down a little bit. Back up on the tightening. This appears to be tedious. It is. Okay. Alright. It's a little too floppy. Okay. Alright, next we're going to put these babies on. Actually, I'm going to put these on rack first all right so what i'm going to do is face this bolt outward and put this on here now you see see how this is angled all right and here's the little angle mount and this one is dead down and this is more well, it's actually less of an angle, so now yeah, we're going to put these on and then put these. Okay. So we're going to put these four. Let's see. These are three millimeter. I believe the three millimeter. Let's see. Yeah. So we're gonna put the three. Uh, we're gonna put the three millimeter. There's four of these bolts, two on each side of this, through here. And uh, I would imagine. Let's see. We'll put. We'll put a washer through first. It's only four washes, so it doesn't look like one on each side. And you may have to finagle this to get it through the hole. It seems like it's a bit tight. You have to make sure that's firm. And yeah, it's fitting in a little bit. If you want, you can just use this to spin it in. But this is not threaded. What we want to do is just get it pushed through. But if there's any tension, it's going to seem like it's threaded. It's not. Okay, so it's all the way through. And then we're going to put one of these lock nuts on here. Put this over so you can see. Okay. And basically, I'm just going to take a pointy nose pliers, hold that while I twist that side. It's a bit easy to get in there. So, I'm going to do that. Get this baby, get some clearance, and spin it around. Until it tightens.
Okay, nice and firm, not killer crazy tight, but you know. All right, rinse and repeat for this one and then put the other one on, same thing. Don't forget to put the washers on the outside, okay? Go there. Oh, and by the way, the reason why they call these a lock nut it's because, let me see if I can get this close. You'll see a, a piece of plastic in there. Oh, let's see. And so it keeps this from spinning loose. It keeps it kind of tight. You know, if it loosens up a little bit, it's not going to spin off. I'll, I'll show you the slightly larger one. You can see inside a little bit better, I think. Okay. You'll see a little piece of um, plastic in there. And uh, so that's like, um, it's not a, I, it's a type of nut that won't spin off. I don't know if it's a lock washer. A lock washer is different. A lock washer is kind of like a washer that's it, but it's cut and it's offset as a lock washer. This is a nut. I guess you would call it a lock nut. Okay, so here's something of interest. The space between the, um, the bottom mounts on the, on the rack is about four and a half inches. And... The space on the bike frame. Let's see if you move that about right. Is let's see. When you spread them apart, it'll be about six and a quarter inches. You know, when, when the mounts go here. So it looks like we're gonna have to do some bending. And let's do a um, a dry fit. All right, so we're gonna do a dry fit. Now here, yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to bend these babies out and put them in this top mounting bracket. And these will go, looks like we have to flip those around, and they'll go here. Hopefully, it looks like we're gonna have to get a little bendy action down here. Not too sure if I can get the screw on it, but we'll find out. All right, take two on the bracket installation. Okay, so on these three uh, millimeter hex bolts that go in here, first pre-fit them. Okay, we did that before. Double checking, we're gonna go into, I'm selecting this top hole. Make sure you put the washers on them. Should be two washers that came with these, two of these screws. Um, we have already, already determined the, the clearance between the, the rack right here and the top of the tire. All right, I'm happy with that. So we're gonna put it on in the lay down position. Okay, so we're going to go for the top hole. Get that close to tighten. Then I'm going to do the other side. Noticing that, you can barely see what I was doing. Apologize for that. Okay, so, position bike so it doesn't fall when you're working on it. All right. So we got that on. And the other side, got to pull this out and stretch this side a bit. And looking the same as the other side, so don't worry. Matter of fact, you know what? I'll change the camera angle so you can see. And I'm going to ex have to extend this. You might have to do this also. Let me take the camera out so you can see. What pain in the butt. All right. As we tilt this up, 
this part is hitting the frame when I swing this into place. Seems like it's more of a problem on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is extend this up another loop, another um, hole. As you can see here, there's a few holes to choose from. By the way, I'm leaving this on. This is like a bungee clip. If you wanna put a bungee around your rack, you can clip the bungee here. And this other part, what you may notice if you have this exact, if you have this exact rack, there's this mount right here. You'll see this little nipple thing sticking down and one down here too. That's for some weird bike pump. It's probably one in the world type that would fit on that. So just in case you're wondering, I'm not getting that bike pump. Okay, so we're gonna make a modification. Bring this up, either one or two. I just wanna make sure it clears. Okay, so I just brought this up one. You can actually loosen this, you know, with the four mil, with the uh, five millimeter. What the heck is this? With the five millimeters um, hex. You can actually loosen this while it's mounted on the bike. It doesn't matter. You can take it off and loosen it. But anyway, I loosened this, took it off, put it up a notch, put it back on. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Okay, yay. So I got both sides. Now for my bike, I'm on the fourth hole up. One, two, three, four. And then I, I tighten this bolt through. Now if you look on the other side, the nut fits in between the bracket. So as long as you hold the nut in between the bracket, it won't spin. You won't need a, a wrench to hold it as you tighten it from the outside, just so you know. Okay, so also keep in mind being on, um, we didn't brutally tighten these, we can tilt this back so we can get in there with a wrench and work on this stuff. Capiche. Okay, so let's see if this is going to work on video. Let's see. All right, giving it some. A little force there, bent it a little bit, and not too sure if that's going to be enough. Check it. Okay, so here's my idea. This is not working. Check this out. What I'm going to do is unbolt this and then screw this in so we can, so I can keep this level and then I can bend this back. This will probably be way easier. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I have this off, disconnected from the rack and now I can position it evenly, but here's a new problem. The screw is not long enough. It's just barely catching and uh, that's not good enough. So I'm going to have to go to a hardware store or I'm gonna to go to a bike store or somewhere to see if I can get this screw maybe an eighth of an inch longer. And then we'll continue. Okay, so I just got back from the hardware store and I got a screw that's slightly longer, although it has a different head. So this is just a machine screw with a Phillips head. Not too crazy about that because um, you can't tighten it as much as a hex head like this. But, um, you know, there's probably bike stores that would have something like this. Um, anyway, so I have this for now. I might swap it out later on, but I just want to get this done. Okay, so that's one problem. So I, I, I took the attachment leg off um because it's not a perfect um fit this is now as you see this is bent at a slight angle and what i'm going to do after i tighten this on let's do that quickly i'll move the camera a bit okay so we got that firm and then now do this 
is. See if I can get some height on this. I'll raise this. Uh, all right. Now, I'm going to have to bend this in and then tighten it. And then it's gonna be the same thing for the other side. And that's the kind of like the semi sucky part of doing this. Uh, this is, it's the sucky part of this bike rack not fitting perfectly on all bikes. So I guess with, with each frame there's gonna be slight modifications. So I'm gonna see if I can do this relatively quickly while you're watching. Bend it. This is probably a two-person thing. It would help. And, um, yeah, so, got that there. Let's see if we can line it up. Nothing yet. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing. So, Okay. All right, so we got that leg on. Now we have to do the same for the other side. And hopefully I'll be able to pull it out and then we will have it supported. Okay, I got both these in place. I'm gonna tighten these up. I had to switch to a an Allen key with a bend because I, I couldn't get in there with the other tool. It's close to the seat. Well, I can take the seat off. I don't want to do that. Okay, so just tighten these babies up. And then I'll... We'll look at one more area. We have to tighten the nuts underneath here. And you have to watch, if you pull back on this, you'll see it'll slide up and down. Let me pull this down so you can see. Right here, you only have so much before it'll fall out, and that's what happened, they did. All right, so I'm gonna bring this up. There were rubber caps on each side, but I, I pulled it off and the caps popped off. Okay, so looks like we're just about done. We're getting there and looks pretty even, level. You know, I, I got this up one, two, three, four. It showed you before earlier in the video. And we have two more bolts to tighten. And so we have this on this side and then the other one on the other side, tighten those down so this doesn't slide out. And then I'm gonna double check all the mounting points. Just tighten these here, double check these here, double check these here, and we should be good to go. And so keep in mind that what's supporting most of the weight are these two extrusions on each side. And this just keeps it from moving forward or backwards. It's, it's kind of like keeping it a bit sturdy. So as far as adding capacity, um, not that much with this. This just um, keeps it, like I said, from rocking back and forth. So we're going to tighten these underneath here. I don't have a wrench that will exactly fit that. So I'm just going to cheat and tighten it up with a pair of pliers, both sides, nice and firm. And then that uh, will be all set. Okay, so we are done installing the rack, yay. Looks like it's gonna come in handy. And uh, it's got this little clamp, folded downer. I'm probably gonna put a bungee on here, so you got your bungee attachment right here. The air pump attachment, I'm probably not gonna use. And that's these two pins. Uh, forget that. All settled here. I was getting a little concerned when it got near this, uh, the brake assembly here. And I, I put this bar on the inside of it and then bent it in. Okay, so that's clearing that. And it is rated 
for 55 pounds or 25 kilograms uh, of, of weight. And I uh, don't think there's a need to put more than that on this. So there you go. Hope this helps you out. And um, if you liked it, appreciate it. You click the like button, subscribe, you know, all that blah, blah, blah. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.